What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, John from the Game of here, welcoming you back to some more Danganronpa B3 Killing Harmony. Hopefully, y'all are having a fantastic day. We're out here. We're doing the do. Um, we found where we needed to go. We can go outside now, apparently. So, um, yeah, so let's figure out what, what uh, we were talking about just now. Oh, frick, wrong buttons is lovely. Oh, this is an entrance hall. Right, Sweet Chi? This must be the entrance to the hall, don't you think? Or entrance hall, don't you think? Oh, good. We can actually read this conversation. Oh, my God. I love this game so much. Okay. So, um, we actually got caught in a situation. And there was this music room, right? Um, and I was like, oh, crap. I don't know if we're going to be able to read this. What's going to happen? So, I skipped past it. Like, I click, 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 so we can read it now with you guys. So, that's cool. Um, that's amazing. This is peak game design. I knew it, it won't open. It seems like we can't get into the gym. We already knew this. Oh, wait a minute. Is this a music room? Click. Uh, it won't open, but this room does look like it was made just for me. Rise, shine, or sign. Uh, they're here again. What do you think this place is? Uh, check it out, those fancy, smashy writing. It seems like this place is for eggheads. Huh? Isn't this an ultimate research lab? What the hell? Why did you tell them? We're trying to make it all dramatic. Oh, I see. I, I'm sorry. Huh? What? It's an ultimate research lab. Do you guys want... You, we want you to keep owning your ultimate talents. So we set up these rooms for you guys. This is the ultimate pianist's lab. But we set up labs for the other ultimates too, of course. Most of them are still hidden though. But by the way, the reason this research lab is still locked is... Is? Because we're setting up everything. Sorry, we're... We'll hustle and get it all ready. Just wipe your asses and wait. That's good advice for y'all and all, but don't you mean hold your horses? <laughs> Monodam is such a dummy. What are y'all laughing at? I'll bully you like I bully Monodam. It seems like this music room. I guess it's an ultimate lab. Do you think there really are other rooms for like this for everyone? I wonder about that too. Anyway. They left the music room. Cool. We, I'm so happy they have this. And then um, then we walk up to the gate and they're like, oh my god, we, there, we can open this gate. And then we, yeah, cool. Right? Is this an entry hall? All right, Suichi. This must be the entrance hall, don't you think? Uh, okay. Uh, I suppose so. Hey. Which means... Mm -hmm. That door must be the entrance. If we walk through it, we can escape this place, right? No. Wait. I don't think we should open the door carelessly. It could be a trap. Do not worry. Worrying about that isn't necessary. I have already examined the doors. Uh. Oh, uh. Yes. Oh, yeah. Who is this? Yes, I shall make that clear first. My name is Karekio Shinguji. Karekio. I am the ultimate anthropologist. Oh, anthropology. Okay, I actually am totally fine with anthro anthro anthropology. Anthropology. Kori Kyo, anthropologist? Oh. Please call me Kyo. As for anthropology, would you like a simple explanation? I see. Sure. Anthropology is. Anthropology studies customs, legends, folk tales, songs, and much more. They may even be customs in your daily life, the origins of which you don't know. Let's see. For example, certain aspects of the birthday or New Year celebration. Anthropology said sheds light on said traditions and customs, such as these, through rigorous analysis. It is a study that examines the thought behind culture and faith mm -hmm. and customs. Oh, I sort of get it, but not really. Sounds like a lot of fun, That's though. Correct. Well, of course it's fun. It is a study focused on humanity. Beautiful. I believe that human beings are creatures who possess infinite beauty. Um. Oh, Bye. um. I find all aspects of humanity, even the ugly parts, to be beautiful. Our present situation is rather intriguing. What beauty will I be able to witness here? Humanity is beautiful. <laughs> People are wonderful. This guy looks like a creep, and turns out he is one too. Hmm. Anyway, we can go outside if we just go through those doors, oh, right? So. You should find the answers to such question on your own. The moment your hopes are shattered, that too may be beautiful. Shattered? What do you mean by that? 
Kirikyo, or Kyo, which is what he wants to be called, so we will respect that, has been updated based on your experience with him. I guess we're gonna do the thing. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Shuichi. Then let's go. Uh, okay. Okay. Determined as I was, I couldn't muster up the courage to take the first step forward. To be honest, I was scared because of what life was, what was beyond was just... Ah, oh, jeez. This isn't like me. Just because I'm scared doesn't mean I'm gonna run away. I gotta move forward. Are you okay? Kaede. Of course. Don't worry about it. Let's go, Suichi. I psyched myself up, and with newfound strength, I walked boldly towards those doors. Upon opening the doors, we were immediately greeted by blue skies, bright sunlight, a gentle wind, and... Cage? A wall? Both words were accurate. What stood before us were both a cage and a wall. Either way, the enormous wall struck a terrifying chord. A mere sight of the imposing presence was enough to send waves of panic through me. No matter where we looked, ahead, behind, above, or all around, the cage surrounded the entire school. What is this? We're trapped? What's going on? Rise and shine, or sign! Hey! Surprise him in the cage, huh? I totally understand how you feel. The first time I saw my teeth and fingernails fell out. That's not a healthy way to react to surprise. Rock hard but right wow! Hard. But it's awesomely huge! Can you see it? It can be called the end wall? Huh? End wall. That's right. Normally, walls are erected in two separate places, but this wall is different. It represents the end of the world. Hey. What are you talking about? What? Hmm. Huh. What were we talking about? Yeah. Huh? Was someone talking? Was I talking? Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, jeez. Stop laughing and explain yourselves. <sighs> There's nothing to explain. This is simply how it is. So please don't bother. You can't get out of here. The wall has no entrance or exits and cannot be climbed or demolished. Well, actually, an ultimate could probably climb it partway most of the time. It is impossible. What? But they can still sort of climb it, huh? Uh, I took a deep breath and shouted at the wall as loud as I could. Someone help us! <laughs> Please help us! <laughs> Someone, anyone... Help us! We're trapped inside this huge cage! Uh, huh? Huh? Yep, yep, yep. Oh! Are they sensitive to loud noises? I shouted as loud as I could, but for all of my shouting, there was no response. Uh, stop it! Please stop! You'll hurt your throat! That's right! Yes! Yeah, scream all you like! No one can hear you anyway! Huh? No one can hear us? Hey! What do you mean? What do you mean no one can hear us? Wait! Say something! Hey! What of you? Just answer! Damn it! Hmm. Monodam is ignoring them exact excellently, because he refuses to open his heart. <laughs> <laughs> you can thank my fearsome bullying for making that happen! Hmm. Now, now, let's all get along. Dumbass! Shut up. We're the Monocubs, we need to be tough and whatnot. Uh, what is this? You things. This school? What is all this? Shadow. You bazards! You'll have to use your legs, hands, and eyes to find out yourself. Actually. But please, watch your step while you explore the school. It is still under construction. Huh? Under construction? Look, I looked around. It was true. Some areas didn't seem as... It did seem as if they were still under construction. It looks like they're still building some of the facilities here. Um. Are... They still in the middle school of or middle of building the school? No, I don't think so. It seems more like they're renovating an abandoned school. Mm. Either way, the construction will finish as soon as we what or soon once we set the exiles on autopilot. Huh? Exiles? Hell yeah! One part of the biker gang, the exiles now work construction to support their wives and kids. Mm. Do robots really need a backstory? Um, their steering wheels are leopard print, and their dashboards are lined with arcade prizes. You stupid. Seriously, knock it off, guys. They sound like douchebags with backstories like those. So long, farewell. And there they go again. But more importantly, 
What they is what they said really true? We can't escape. We can't go over that wall. And no one's coming to rescue us? Uh, but geez. if we give up now, then what? I slapped both my cheeks, and my face grew warm, and I could feel the determination returning. Hey, hey, Suichi. Let's see if we can find a way out. I slapped him upside the head, just firm enough to get his attention. Ow! Ow! You know? Suichi, I'm not great at motivating others, but we can't give up just because of a wall. We came in somewhere, so there has to be an exit. Yeah, that's right. We may not be able to escape now, but we'll do it eventually somehow. Yeah. Everyone just has to cooperate if we all want to get out of here. Yeah, that's right. It's too early to give up. It's too early. Yo, finally. Okay, this is one of the people that I ranked as a hottie, so come on. Jeez. How did it, How did they even make this big ass wall? Seriously, I don't get it. Hey. I wonder what'll happen now if we get it if we can't escape then. Right. What are you complaining? Huh? Huh? Listen up. Quit complaining and grumbling, or it'll turn into a habit. Yeah. Besides, this cage is nothing compared to the vastness of the universe. Um. The universe? Got it. Oops, I haven't introduced myself yet. My bad. I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. The ultimate. Even crying children adore the ultimate astronaut. Oh, Kaito or Kaito, not Kaito. Kaito, the ultimate astronaut. Take me to space, why don't you? Huh. How about it? I'm an astronaut. Isn't that cool? Mm. Yeah. I've never been to space, so I don't know how much of, know much about it. <laughs> well, of course, not anyone can get up there, you know. I may be an astronaut, but I'm actually still in training. I oh, I see. So you're still a trainee. But you know. But I'm the first teenager to ever pass the exam. I mean, normally I need a college degree to even take that exam. Huh? Huh? Then how did you take the exam? So... I had a friend who was pretty crafty, and I had him forge some stuff for me. jeez. Uh, That's illegal. Yeah. yeah, I ended up getting caught, and I was in pretty deep shit. But the people at the top decided they liked me and let me in anyway. Of course I aced that exam Jeez. as well. That That's reckless. Got it. Sometimes you gotta be a little reckless to make your dreams a reality. Huh. No way I can't wait till after college. I wanna get to space as fast as I can. But... You sure have a lot of energy. Yeah, everyone told me that it was impossible, but I never gave up, not for a moment. That's because limits do not exist unless you set them yourself. Let's do it. There is no walls you cannot get over. The same goes that, or the same goes for that one. Could it be? So, do you have any ideas? Shut up! That's not a problem. Um, no, that is a problem. Jeez, this guy sure talks a big game. Kaito's report card has been updated based on your experience. I, this is, okay, free times are gonna get hella complicated because I like so many of these characters, honestly. Free times are about to become a crap shoot of who do I feel like talking to at this current moment, which is scary because I I'm I'm so used to having like more predefined pathways, but these characters are all so good. There's this guy looks scary. He's so big and muscular. My favorite. Um. Um. Excuse me. Huh? huh? Thank you. Oh, thank you. Huh? Huh? Thank you. Sorry. Sorry for scaring you. Um. Um. Gonta scary looking. Most people not or most people not want to talk to Gonta when meeting for a first time. Cause Gonta gentlemen. So like gentlemen, Gonta say thank you. Thank you for talking to Gonta. Yeah. Um. Thank you for being so polite. He looks scary, but doesn't seem to be big or scary at all. Oh. Oh right. Gonta need to make introduction. Oh god. Um. um Gonta's name is Gonta Gokuhara. Gonta's talent is ultimate entomologist. Entomologist. I don't know what that is, actually. This is the first one I genuinely don't know. Oh. Well, I'll probably explain it, so I'm not going to look it up yet. Gonta want to become gentlemen. Becoming true gentlemen, Gonta's goal. Entomologist. I see. Oh, so you're Gonta. That name is a really cute name. Really? To thank you. Ah, you actually, you're actually pretty nice. Silly for me to be scared of you at first. Maybe. Oh, Gonta's scary looking, huh? Sorry. Oh, sorry. That's not what I... No. 
No, it's okay. Ganta used to it. Ganta called scary since he was a kid. Um. Since you were a kid? Oh. Big to see. Kid Ganta bigger than other kids. Other kids scared of Ganta. So, Kid Ganta play alone. That's how Ganta come to like bugs. But when Ganta really focus, it's easy to lose track. One day, Ganta go to forest to find bugs end up lost. I see. Sounds rough. Were you able to find your way? Were they able to find their, hmm. you right away? Yeah, it took 10 years though. Huh? Oh. So he never got to grow up. Weird. Okay. We're here for it though. I mean, well, I feel bad for him, but. 10 what? years. But Gunta fine. New family took care of Gunta. Hmm. I see. I'm glad they were nice people. Um. Oh, not people. Wolves. Huh? Wolves? But. But they really nice. Because the forest family gotta learn to speak bug and animal. Gunta. As thanks, Gunta wants to show forest family what great gentleman Gunta is. Hmm. How is he going to be a gentleman going to be, are going to thank them for that? Mm. This place strange, huh? Lots of plants and, but no bugs. Huh? Wait, really? It's, I suppose it's understandable that there's no animals, but no insects? That's strange. Not even one bug. I mean, you like bugs too? Amazing. Hey, what's your favorite bug? What do you like about them? Uh, um... uh no. Uh, I wasn't saying that I like bugs or anything. Wait. Then you hate bugs? Huh? What? But how? You! You hate bugs? That's not true. Um, you don't hate bugs. You love them, right, Suichi? Uh, okay. Yeah, um, uh, of course I do. I, I, I love bugs. Thank goodness. Oh, okay. Good. That's good. No bad person likes bugs. Oh, boy. Gonza's report card has been updated based on your experience with him. Oh, boy. Hmm. It's all I have to say. That was scary. Whew, yeah, I thought you were gonna die. Honestly, I can't stand bugs either, but it might be best to hide that. Uh, probably around Ganta. Yeah, probably. Honestly. I, I I don't mind bugs. It's not that I love them or don't. I just don't mind them. They're just part of life. Yaha! How are you? My name is Angie Yonaga. I'm the ultimate artist. Oh, interesting. Angie! Um. You're pretty cheerful. She's a bit too happy considering the situation we're in right now. Yeah. There's no reason to carry any bad thoughts with ya. You gotta live every day like it's bright, cheery, and fun. Because Atua says so. So says Atua. Huh? A Atua? The god of my island, Atua, is always with me, speaking to me with his divine voice. Oh, well, she's certainly devout. Um, do you specialize in painting or sculpting? Uh, oh, I do both. I paint paintings, I sculpt sculptures. But Atua, the one who makes the art, I merely offer my body as his vessel. So divine! How divine! I see. I see. That's interesting. If you don't mind, can I... Can you show me some of your artwork? Of course, of course. In return, I will make you an offering. Uh, an offering? Uh, Every Monday and Wednesday morning on my island, a truck comes to collect the offerings. That sounds oddly similar to putting out trash for pickup. But, but... Don't worry, don't worry. When I say offering, I just mean a pint or two of your blood. Don't worry. Sorry. Um, I'm a bit anemic, so I'll pass. I see. I see. So, what about you then? Huh? Me? Uh, yep. Boy's blood is also an acceptable offering. Come on, come on. It won't hurt one bit. Uh, Wait a minute. <laughs> Don't run away. This girl seems so weird. I mean, eh, a pint or two is. I mean, well, don't you? It's a pint is what you if you like, um, <clears throat> do. Um, like blood donations, I want to say it's a pint. So, just a standard blood donation. Just once every eight weeks, not twice a freaking week. That's that's the only thing, not twice a week. I can give you one every eight weeks, but not twice a week.
You just have to, you know, run blood tests. Get my LCD, L LCD, whatever, whatever. All, I can't remember any of the other ones. HCD. Um. Uh, is this an ninja statue? Right. It looks like one, but why is this here? Seriously, there's so many odd things. Are we going up? No. Ah, the dormitory. Who's hanging out in the dorms? Oh. This building is around and has a lot smaller room inside. Very nice to see you again. Very nice to see you again. Oh, is this like our cottage? Well, yeah, it's a dor dormitory. John, what the frick are you doing? Why, hello, bear. Intruding. Sorry to intrude. Jeez. What is it this time, and what do you mean by intruding? The hell you saying? Because this is your home, you bastard. <laughs> we finished setting it up the shower so you can go pee. Hey. Why don't you just use the toilet? Uh. Huh? Even for number two? Ah. Wait, you don't go number two in the shower? Or do you oh. go number two in the shower? Ew, that's gross. So long, farewell. Mm, boy. Um. What do you mean, our home? Could it be... They mean for us to live here. See, there's 16 doors. Perhaps a room for each of us? Stop it. I don't plan on staying here long enough to need a room. But... I fail to see their objective. Um... Huh? What do you mean? How? If they're holding us for ransom, a large facility such as this world would be unnecessary. Furthermore, I gather they would rather care for us than hurt us. In light of this, I fail to see the true objective of the culprit's reasoning for kidnapping us. Culprits, huh? I never thought about that. Why would their kidnappers go to all this trouble? Sixteen ultimate students have been gathered here, but why? What's the reason? Excuse me. Pardon me, but I have not introduced myself yet. I am Kirumi Tojo, the ultimate maid. I thought Please so. Please let me know if you require my service. Kim or Kirumi, ultimate maid. Wow, the ultimate maid? Sounds like a really cool talent. Oh, wait. I've heard of Karumi Tojo. If I remember An ultimate with incredible intellect and strength working as a private maid. I've heard that her work is so perfect she can complete any request that's given to her. What? She's that amazing? I do not agree. Please, you're exaggerating. I will not complete any requests that are asked of me. Once I've received a request that would annihilate a rival nation, but as it was impossible, I rejected it. But being requested to do that is pretty impressive in on its That's own. True. I've also heard that she was hired as a bodyguard for several foreign digenaries. I do not agree. I have only employed as a maid, not a bodyguard. I see. But you've been hired as by many important people, so you're like a super maid. Moving on, what do you intend to do now? Hmm. That's a tough question. Um, what should we do? Um. What would you do? Kurumi. I do not agree. I hold no opinions or desires of which to speak. I am a maid after all. As a maid, my desires are to fill the desires of others. So please, think about what you desire for yourself and what you desire from me. For everyone. No matter the situation, no matter what happens, I am here to serve everyone. Even in this situation, she's more concerned of others. Well, then she is the ultimate maid after all. Kurumi's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Uh-oh. Huh? What is that bell? Ah. Oh. Kaede, look, the monitor. Thanks for pairing with us. You bastards. Waiting, huh? All right. Everyone, make your way to the gym, please. <gasps> the opening ceremony can finally begin. Whew. We're finally finished our preparations. Hey. You do realize you just read your lines backwards, don't you? So long, farewell. Jim, opening ceremony. Hey. Kaede, what should we do? Um. What should we do? Go, of course. 
Everyone is probably doing the same thing. You're right. True, but I'm a little worried about this. Well, I'm not a little worried. I'm very worried. Oh! Um, that's... Yeah, I mean, concerning. I get that. Like, I'd, I mean, heck, I'd be worried too. But yeah, opening ceremony time. Oh, what? There's the door. <laughs> so the gym, if I recall, was over here. Oh, wait. That's the basement. The gym was not over there. Oops. It's okay. We'll get fast travel soon enough, and then I'll be able to figure out where I'm going. <laughs> nope. Still the wrong way. I went every possible wrong way. Oops. We're getting comfortable with the school. It's okay. I, I, I'm, I figured we were going to have a little bit of struggles but again this mini map is helpful because i like i'm like oh i recognize this kind of a thing it is very helpful i will say <clears throat> do you agree all 16 of us have gathered mm. hmm it's pretty spectacular seeing all 16 of us ultimates gathered together That's right. <laughs> you may not be able to be so easygoing for much longer. Um... In this situation, it is no use thinking about things. So eventually, Sumigi stopped thinking. Mm. <laughs> ah! No! The buttons. Yeah. What's going to happen to us? I bet it'll be a big plan. Hmm. What? What? Art, what are you looking at? Kimiko! Hmm. Kimiko, you can use your amazing powers, right? Because you're psychic and stuff, right? It's magic. I'm not psychic. I'm a mage. Ah! Wow, that's amazing! I definitely want to incorporate in, in, that into Neo Akito. Hey, what sort of training did you undergo to gain some awesome powers? Mm. Uh, talking about it is too tiring. <sighs> you're pretty lazy. Please wait. Pardon me, but we need to be on our guard. We do not know what danger will strike. Please don't. Don't say that. I'm so scared. I don't know what to do. It'll be okay. Ah, uh, there's no need to worry. <laughs> Atua will protect us. Thank goodness. <sighs> what a relief. Fucking moron. Your brain is full of weeds or something. I'll whack him out of this skull of yours. Don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. Just leave it to me. Leave it to me. If those teddy bears show themselves again, I will kick their asses. Don't you wonder. Huh? What that? What's wrong? Hmm? What's wrong? See? Listen. Hear that? Uh, -huh. uh, I think I hear it. It sounds like an engine from a robot anime. Behind Gunther. What? what the heck are these monsters? Wow, wow so cool! Hell yeah! They're exiles, highly mobile, bipedal weapons, platforms. They've got a lots of hometown pride what too. Are you saying? I can't keep track of these backstories. <laughs> Whatever they are, they better kill off the Ugos and save me for last. Hey! The Ugos. Run, Himiko. Why are you concerned about me all of a sudden? Ah! By the way. Hmm. Didn't someone say they would kick all of their asses? Oh. What the hell? Nobody told me about these. It's okay. All right, chill. No need to panic. We're probably not in any danger. If they wanted to kill us, they would have done so by now. With that, Rantaro casually walked up to the exiles. Man. So, what do you want from us? You clearly want something. That's what the guns are for, right? Let me guess. You want to force us to do something we if and if we don't we get hurt. That means. Well, 
you have our attention, so do what you want. And that's that. Huh, well, aren't you a wise guy? Hey! I'll start off. Listen up. Here's what we want you punk asses to do. <laughs> <laughs> My heart's going 100 miles per hour, and I want to say it. You ready? Hell yeah, it's up. It's a killing game. Oh. <laughs> Freaking Monodom taking it away from Mono Kid that I think is his, did they think that's his name, Mono Kid? Huh? What? <laughs> yes, it is. But Monodom, how dare you upstage me? Huh? Wait a second. What did you say? Hmm. If I heard the him correctly. It's a killing game. Ooh, the music shift. That's, I like that. <laughs> oh, I said it again. Uh, God damn it, Monodom! I'm gonna crush you with this here exile. <sighs> Come on, we don't have to fight amongst ourselves. Okay. Yeah, if you don't stop fighting, I'm gonna crush you here with this exile. <sighs> you too, Monotaro. Leave it to me. If this is what it's come to, then I will crush the four of you here with with this exile. What are you saying? Hey, why are you including me? Oh well. Oh well. It's more appropriate for us to be hostile to each other. You want to go, Jabroni? Who are you calling Jabroni, Jabroni? What'd you say, Jabroni? Oh, Jabroni is... Okay, so now we have... Oh, God. Okay. So first off, we have a very swift bear who has an ex-boyfriend. And now their tagline right now is Jabroni's. Y'all won't, some of you will get the reference, others will not, and that's okay. I'll throw down any time, Jabroni! Check yourself before you wreck yourself! <laughs> Seriously? Are they gonna get it on right in front of us? Don't worry. Atua is watching over us. In a situation like this, is he just going to watch? Either way, it's too dangerous. We need to get out of here, or else... Now, now, now! What? My cute little cubs, you gotta knock off this awful fighting. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> Monokuma in the parental role. <laughs> Father! Father, is that you? Papakuma! Papakuma! Daddy! Daddy, where are you, Daddy? Huh? Daddy. At that moment, the lights in the gymnasium. Gymnasium, wow. Gymnasium suddenly shut off. Let's see this dare Papakuma. It'll probably look the same. Yeah, okay. I'm like, I wondered if we were going to get a little older, but no. That makes sense. of this new world i wonder if monokuma is gonna have more voice lines though i'd actually love that since the mono cubs can really like talk a lot more and then monokuma just does the his voice lines and the headmaster of the ultimate academy the one the only monokuma nice to meet ya Father's here! Hell yeah! Hell yeah, another epic entrance from Papakuma! How nice! Daddy is so cool! My widow cubs! Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was proven wrong immediately. Y'all are so freaking cute! The only reason I can tolerate your tiresome antics is because you're all so yeah, cute! So even when the prologue is going way too long, I will allow you guys are because you guys are cute. Yeah. In fact, the very first prologue ever was only short because of that you cutie patooties weren't there. Pops! Pops, are you mad at us? Don't be stupid! Don't be an idiot! I won't get, ever get mad at my cute little cubs! <laughs> uh, is he mad? <laughs> but daddy <laughs> I'm gonna I'm saying daddy in the dumbest way ever, but okay. Is it still cool when he... But Daddy is still cool, even when he's angry. That's right. Pops is a planet 
of ha or from a planet of handsome bears that get cooler as they get angrier. It's getting interesting. Super Monokuma, Super Monokuma 2, Super Monokuma 3, and finally Super Monokuma 4. How many times do I gotta say it? I'm not mad! Ah! Father just transformed into a Super Monokuma God Super Monokuma! That's only possible when six Monokumas of pure heart are gathered together. It's the power you bust out when you really want to fuck the world shit up! A power you only see when the gods themselves do battle. Anyway... Anyway, I'm not... I'm really not mad. In fact, I gotta admit, I'm actually proud of you guys. You kids really stand out from the rest of the second generation failures in this world. Hey. Isn't that a little harsh? I'm sure there's just some second generation success stories. Yeah, but... I can't think of any though. If you can't think of any, it's cause there's none worth remembering. <laughs> father remembers, cause he knows everything. Holy shit! That's right, Papa Kuma! You know all kinds of useless crap! Cause Daddy gets all his alternate facts from the most trusted names in fake news. <laughs> <laughs> then, okay, for context, this game was made in 2017, I think. So that's. <laughs> that's amazing. I that, that was a good liner. Okay. <laughs> I love embracing my children. They're so cute, I just can't help myself. Usually, ratings will plummet when mascots appear in sequels too much. But in this case. The ratings are through the roof and all thanks to these cute mono cubs. Uh, what is this? What is going on? Like... Another teddy bear appeared. No. Yes, but it's no ordinary teddy bear. I can see it. The despair and madness swirling around in that cursed thing. You're really well, first of all, I am no teddy bear. I'm Monokuma. Sure. And show some respect. I'm the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy of Gifted Juveniles. Huh? Headmaster? Hmm? It appears that some sort of autonomous robot was built with a built AI like me. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, but the exiles are different though. They're brainless buckets of bolts. That's right. The mindless they're mindless petty killing machines that can only be controlled by us monocubs. Sheesh. Autonomous robots piloting weapons platforms. This is certainly turning out to be quite a story. Actually. Well, they that may be, but I'm worried about this killing game you mentioned. What exactly does that mean? What is so amusing? Yeah. It's just what I said it before. I kind of just phoned it in, and now I feel awkward. Extreme. I want you students with your ultimate level talents to participate in a killing game. Huh? Killing game? Us? Please stop. Please stop joking. Why would we agree to participate in a killing huh? game? You, huh? You guys don't want to do it. Don't I never do that? Of course not. Gentlemen, not hurt people. And another thing. But if you've looked around the academy, then you already know, don't you? The academy is surrounded by a huge wall, and you can't escape to the outside world. As long as we have the exiles, you can't defy us. Shing. In other words, I hold the power of life and death over each and every one of you. So unsure. Oh, you do. What do you say if we don't want to die? You gotta be kidding me! Why would we kill each other? Why would friends kill each other? Oh, oh. oh, who said you guys were friends? No way! You guys aren't friends at all. <laughs> Your enemies have to kill each other. Huh? E enemies? We're enemies? Mm. Hmm. I still have a lot to learn from Father about sarcasm. <laughs> this, all this talking is bugging the shit out of me. I gotta beat up Mata or Mata Dam to relieve the stress. But I don't like that. I'm not good with violence or gore or sad situations. Um, Daddy, um, instead of a killing game, could we do like a rock, paper, scissors tournament? You stupid. Huh, who would want to play that game where no one dies? Hmm. Well, you do have a compassionate personality, so it's cute, but I can barely stand it. They are so cute. Why, it's cute enough to eat. Cute enough that I want to eat. Huh? Hey. Hey, 
Monofany. Uh, you might want to dial back the cute shtick a bit. Hey. Cool it with the stupid banter. I want to ask something. <laughs> How are we supposed to kill each other? Are you giving us weapons? <laughs> what the hell, man? What are you even asking? What? We need to get his info from them first. We can't do anything if we don't know anything. No way! Weapons? What kind of barbaric display are you envisioning? You couldn't go be more wrong. Why, at the Gifted Academy, or Ultimate Academy of Gifted Juveniles, the killing game is a quite refined, it's sophisticated experience. What? Sophisticated experience? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Here, the killing game is punctuated by class trials. Uh, uh. Class trials? Okie dokie. Let us explain. All right, so if one of you maggots kills someone, you all gotta take part in a class trial. The class trial is where the blackened killer faces off against their spotless classmates. It's where you punk ass bitches argue over who you fucking think the blackened is. After that, it's voting time! And if the majority of you idiots vote correctly, then only the blackened killer will receive p, -p punishment. But so cruel. Just imagining all the blood and gore makes me want to puke. After the blackened is punished, the rest of you will just keep right on living together. But if you vote for the wrong person during the class trial, excuse me, well, the blackened gets off scot-free and all the spotless students get punished instead. Hell yeah! Them's the rules of the class trial! Woohoohoo! Too much! That explanation revealed way too much! You gotta be more coy, flirtatious, seductive, just like your old man. Gross. Hey, um... The point is, it's not enough to kill someone. You have to also survive the class trial. Put this. Kill without being caught, and then survive the trial? Sounds eerily similar to the real world. You think so? Then, the outside world must have been masterfully designed even at its cruelest. Listen. One can likely imagine, but I shall ask just in case. What is the punishment you mentioned earlier? Yeah, yeah. Simply put, it's an execution. Huh? E execution. If you do a crime, you get punished for it. That's like the most basic rule of society. But this is a killing game. So the punishment for murder is a bit more... Permanent. Hell yeah! Oh, I wonder what kind of punishments there'll be. Lots of blood, guts, and brains, I bet. That kind of stuff gives me a raging boner, you know? Yeah. What, Monica? You already have a raging boner. Like, God. Get a rock hard yeah, ranger. I'm so hard right now. Like, oh my God. Sorry. Blood, guts, brain? Ah, <laughs> man. Gosh, Monofane just puked. Got a rock hard rage! I am so freaking hard! Ugh, puke gives you a boner too? <laughs> you kids are just so adorable! What? What the hell is cute about that? Well now. Alright. I'm all over this boring exposition. exposition. Let's get this heart pounding killing school semester started already! Rain to murder however you like, too. Like bludgeoning or stabbing. Feeling cheap? Try strangulation. Feeling lazy? Try poisoning. Whether you shoot, burn, drown, blow up, crush, electrocute, or laugh your victim to death, you can use any method you like to kill anybody you like, any way you like. At the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles, you will realize your murderous potential! Sixteen talented teenage prodigies, all competing for first place in a killing game! There's no better setting for an event like this than the Ultimate Academy! You got me. Killing school semester. It's like a game. <laughs> 
Risking your life some silly game is absurd. But... It doesn't seem like it'll be boring, though. Huh. Hey, how can you degenerates be so calm? It can't this be. This has to be a lie, right? It's a lie, right? Nope. A lie. More like fiction. Like a story on TV. A scenario. So removed from reality that we can hardly believe it's happening. It's no use. I, I don't want to be in the killing game. It's wrong. I, I'd never do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you don't want to participate in the killing game, that's going to be a problem. Because the killing game is the only reason you're here. Huh? What? Now then. Now then, unleash your talents and have a happy, homicidal, horrific, hilarious killing game. Ah, uh, jeez. Wait, wait just a minute. Oh. Hmm? Stop it. No matter what you say, we won't do it. That's wrong. We will never participate in the killing I'll game. Do it. Whatever you have planned, I am not going to let you get away with it. Um. Kaede, you shouldn't rashly defy the thing. That's nice. No, no. I welcome her resistance. Uh, that kind of defiant spirit is an important thing to the killing game. It's fun to watch the defiant ones that usually eventually snap and get their hands dirty. Uh, what do you mean by that? I love it. Everyone loves that kind of brutality in the death game, especially me. It never gets old. It is so fun and entertaining that I just get unbearably pumped up. Plus, as the headmaster, it is my job to force you to do it. <laughs> we stood in dumbfounded silence, surrounded by the squealing laughter and Monokuma and of uh, Monokuma and his cubs. Eventually, everything about the situation was so messed up. An academy surrounded by a giant wall. 16 ultimate true students trapped inside. Mysterious stuffed bears and deadly weapons. A new friend forced to play a killing game. And it all felt like something out of a sadistic work of fiction. A sadistic story no different from the reality itself. And against my will, I was now a character in that story. I guess we get to watch this intro and then probably end the episode. That sounds like a good good plan. Kibo. Kirumi. Rantaro. I gotta pronounce their names so I get used to them. Suichi. Sumigi. Gonta. Tenko. Tokichi. Maki. Kyo. Himiko. Angie. Ryoma. Miyu. Kaito. Oh! Monokuma. Our main cast. And the Monocubs. I like how they don't even get to like their name out of there out, at all. Poor Monocubs. I know I shouldn't like again, I like the Monocubs, okay? It's fine. We're gonna have we're gonna vibe with them for now. For now, well, at least. I actually am okay with them. <laughs> What's crazy is there's no character that I'm like, eh, I don't like you. Like, there, ha there's no character in this. I, like, I like all of these characters. So, as, like I said, free time is going to be literally a crapshoot. Like, honestly. Ultimate revival. End. Chat, that's the end of the prologue. Well, it's a perfect time to end it. Look at that. Well, thank you guys again so very much for watching. Clear the prologue. Hopefully, you guys are having a splendid rest of your day. We will see you guys next time when we take on chapter one. See ya.